If you have a community Discord server that anyone can access and join and be able to chat in, auto moderation is a very key feature that you're gonna to wanna to have inside your server to keep it nice and tidy whenever you're not able to. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up some of the best auto moderation features. And the best part is that all of them are completely free. But before we dive in, a quick word from our channel sponsor, WAP. WAP is a platform that allows internet entrepreneurs the ability to monetize their Discord communities. With WAP, you're able to set up your own storefront where you can sell multiple different levels of access to any of your Discord servers. Your store will then be listed on their community marketplace where you can grow your server organically and users can leave reviews on their experience with you. Check out WAP today via the link at the top of the description. And if you want to learn more, feel free to check out my full length video going over everything with WAP that I'll also have down below for you. Thank you again to WAP. And now let's get back to the video. So there's two different forms of auto moderation that we're going to look at inside this video. The first one is Discord's auto mod, which is built in directly into Discord inside your server's safety settings. Now it's pretty limited with what it can do, but it's enough to get the job to get some the bare bones job done. To be able to access the auto mod of your Discord server, you're going to go to your server and go to your server settings, come down to the safety setup tab under moderation, and then you'll see a tab called auto mod. If you click edit, there's a few different things you can set up right now. There's five features, one of which being in beta. Um, you can block out mention spam. So if people send, if people at mention over a certain amount of people, it can automatically delete the message. Um, you can block out suspected spam content. You can block commonly, commonly flagged words like profanity, insults and slurs or sexual content and you can also block custom words so if you notice people are sending certain words that you don't want to send it's, then that's not popping up under commonly flagged words you can type those in as many as you want under the custom words tab and you can also set this up as phrases and not just singular words so if people are coming in your server and saying you can buy followers on instagram or something and that's a common phrase that's being said you can type in that exact phrase here and it'll block it out for you and then the beta feature that i mentioned is to block words inside members profiles a really good example of this is if someone's trying to impersonate you inside your server and they're trying to use your exact name inside your server you can set it up to block out where people cannot use your name in their profile and that's about the full extent of discord's auto mod like i said it's nothing crazy but it's definitely enough to be able to get the job done if you just want some basic chat filtration to be able to block out really bad words and stuff like that this will get the job done for you now if you want a little bit more advanced auto moderation we're talking about things like blocking out external links being able to block out discord invites and much much more we're going to use sapphire's auto moderation now the reason i go with sapphire is because one everything with sapphire is 100 percent free and you get unlimited uses of it pretty much any moderation or utility discord bot is going to offer all of these different things but the difference is the ones that you really want to use like being able to block out links from certain roles block out discord invites those are usually locked behind a paywall on every other bot so just to show you a brief overview of what all we can block out with discord with sapphire's auto moderation we can do things like spam if they're sending a message message too fast, too many mentions, you can block out too many attachments, you can block out too many emojis, uh, too many message lines, so really large messages in a really short amount of time, um, too many capitalized letters, uh, certain words inside their sentence, uh, block out external links, which is a really, really big one and block out Discord invite links. So I'm gonna show you how to set these up. To make sure you get to the right tab, you're gonna click the auto moderation when you're on Sapphire's, Sapphire's dashboard, and then click the advanced auto moderation button. And that's gonna get you to this page. I'm sorry I didn't show you that earlier. Now, let's say we wanna block out external links. We wanna make it where, to where no one can send external links inside our server. We're going to come over here and we're gonna click add group. After that, you're gonna get a couple new options pop up. We're gonna be looking at the add condition button. We're gonna click add condition and then down here, you're you're going to see that you can add an action. So we're gonna click on the plus for add action and we're gonna set it to delete the message. We're gonna keep on the delete all option and we're gonna save our changes. Now you can X this out and anytime someone sends a link inside your server, it's going to automatically be deleted. Now let's say you wanna give people the ability to a certain role to be able to send links. So on my server, for example, I think I do once you hit level five, you can be able to send links. So if you wanna do that, you can click on the shield button right here and then it will ask you the following roles will be excluded from being punished. So all you have to do is click the plus button and then add in whatever role you want to be able to send links. So if you can click the red role and then save your changes. And this means anyone that has the red role will not be punished for sending links. And then you can do the same thing for specific channels. So if there's a dedicated channel, like if you have a self promo channel, for example, and you want people to be able to send links in just that channel, then down here under the conditions tab, you can click this little hashtag button for channels. 
And then you can select which channels you want to be excluded from ha uh, having links sent. And then you can also do the same thing for channels. So say you have certain channels that you want, like for example, a self promo channel, and you only want links to be able to be sent in that channel and nowhere else. Down here under the conditions tab, you have a hashtag button. If you click that, you can come in here and select any channels that you want to have to allow links to be sent to. So if I come in here and select the links tab, then I can save changes and anyone that sends links to the external links to the links channel, those will not be punished. Now let's say you want to go a step further and instead of just automatically deleting the message, you also want to kind of give the user a warning and say, Hey, you shouldn't, you're not allowed to send links in this channel. Your message was deleted. Down here, you'll notice if you click the plus, you have even more options that you can do. You can do send message or DM the user. So let's say we wanna do the exact example I just said. We wanna send a message saying no links are allowed in this channel. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come over to the messages tab first, and we're going to go to the templates option, and then we're gonna create a new template. We're gonna call this template a link deleted message. So now that we created the template, we're gonna click on it, and we're gonna to come to the edit tab, we're gonna delete all of this junk in here. And then we're just gonna type out a brief message. This can say anything you want. Um, I'm just going to have it say external links are not allowed in this channel. You'll notice I did a little asterisk on each side. That'll make it italicized. Um, and then we're gonna save our changes right here. So now we have that message saved. We're gonna go back to our advanced auto moderation tab. We're going to drop down our conditions box here and we're going to add in a new option. We're gonna click send message and we're gonna select our new template that we made, link deleted message. And then now we can just click save changes and now it's set up to where anytime they send an external link, it will automatically delete the message and it will also send a message to that user letting them know why their link was deleted. So that's the basics of how you set up some of these auto moderation features. This goes the same for all of these. Now say we wanna do capitalization. We're gonna click, we're always gonna start by clicking the add condition button. And then you'll notice on some of them, you can get different options like this one. You can customize how many, how much of their sentence is capitalized. The default is set up to where if more than 80% of the message is capitalized in a 10 character long message, then you can come, you can change this if you want, if you wanna change it to 70 or you wanna change it to more characters. And then you come down here and select your action and you wanna delete the message. You wanna delete all and click save changes. And then that's how you set that up. That, that goes for all of these conditions up here. So that's a pretty brief overview of how to set up some really useful auto moderation features inside your Discord server. If you guys got any type of value out of this video, make sure you drop a like to help spread it to others and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of the future Discord content. And if you have more questions, you can find my Discord link down in the description. I have a dedicated Discord help channel where you can jump in and ask me anything about Discord and I'll be sure to answer it for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.